Artyom. Artyom. Wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the Colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. A uh, smoke break. That's good. <laughs> but the further from Moscow we get, the more we get. Artyom, the oh, colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. <laughs> Roger that. Don't 
Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh. Don't say that. Go ahead, Carol. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on! Passengers, get inside and put on a tank! Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Artyom and me. Roger that. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? <laughs> Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A <laughs> wise decision. You're not going to stop the engine. to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We know that right now! Stefan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir! Great! Let's go! Go back, huh? Baby. Look. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Let's go. 
Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. <coughs> Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! Not one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. 
He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you beasts, myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get you all along! To ashes! Times even their dirty bones! Now we'll be fought again! Good. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay.
Ah, what's your situation? Lord Crawley, break! Don't try to honor! 
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just freeze! Yes, yes! Then Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now. Uh, remember what I told you! There was an ex- Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Anna, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. This whole situation, though. I hey. thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Zelantius with his damned fanatics. But no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have got killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. But what do we do now? Damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? The defense sites, HQs, all the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up work <coughs> for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. Are you going to drag us to some other bunker? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision <coughs> together. <coughs> Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving. One moment. I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on. Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? <coughs> It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't.
body! I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ, that we were under occupation, that we were still in war, that there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war, the government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? What about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <laughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Sound the horn, then. 